Hello, and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Franza. This is one of a two-part series on how to make videos on the cheap. In this uh, first one, we're going to be focusing in on what you need from a physical point of view to make movies and then or videos. And then the second part, we'll, we'll talk about the software. So um, there's so many different reasons why you want to make videos. You know why. Um, hopefully, it's just because you want to create. You enjoy consuming, and now you want to create. But you want to make videos. So because we're doing this on the cheap, please understand it's not going to look like professional videos but your professional videos like the ones you like on YouTube and Twitch they spend big money on their equipment also they spend a lot of time and so that's what I'm going to suggest to you focus on content content will trump the tech people will be more forgiving um, if it's good stuff and it's worth watching and your favorite uh, youtubers and those guys they spend a lot of time on the content they make it look simple they make it look easy but there's a lot of hard work behind what they do, and they, they, they do deserve credit for it. Okay. Now, I know you're saying, Tom, but you're talking about on the cheap, but you've got a green screen behind you. Yes, yes, I do. But the reason why I have the green screen behind me is because all of my son's crap is over there, and I'm just trying to protect you from it because it's just, yeah, it's because I'm a good person. Okay. Also need to mention, let, let, let you know that all of the, if I mention products, I'm recommending them. I am not endorsed. I'm not paid by any manufacturer to sell their goods. This is just me from what I've used or what I would use. Okay, let's get started. First things first, you probably all know this, but use your cell phone. If you got a cell phone, use your cell phone. Um, I'm using and I'm shooting this with a Samsung Galaxy S4, circa 2012-2013, and this thing does 1080p. I'm even using the front camera, should be using the rear camera, because the rear camera on your cell phone is always the better camera, and it's a 13 megapixel, and that's what I'm shooting on, because I want to show you on, on the cheap, except for the front and the tail, that's it. But let's say you don't even have a cell phone. I got nothing. Well, guess what? Then you can use your other resources, such as your school or college they have usually they have equipment that you can borrow and use your library your public library use they have equipment you, you just gotta ask you'd be surprised what is available to you and all you need is a library card so remember what Arthur told you when you were young life isn't hard when you've got a library card how to stick it in there sorry so last but not least family and friends you would be surprised when they find out that you're interested in something, you're starting a new hobby or what have you, they're dying to get rid of stuff. And that's what I'm going to recommend to you. Get your feet wet first. Don't spend a lot of money. Spend a little money. And then as you get into it and the more you create, then it kind of justifies the expense. Now, let's say you want to do streaming. If you want to do streaming, then you're probably going to need a webcam. Um, with the webcam, that is, if you don't have one, it's not you don't, you're not using a laptop, you're using a desktop PC, you don't have one, uh, they start as little as 20 bucks, but I would say uh, if you're going to buy one, I would go with the Logitech C615, it's about 40 bucks, um, 1080p recording, 720p streaming, and it works on a Mac and a PC. Done. Um, a tripod is something you should invest in. If you don't have one, um, Amazon has the E-Cost tripod. It's 12 bucks. Okay, I would spend an additional five bucks if you need because you're using your cell phone because you want the mount. The reason why you want that is you don't want the shaky video. It just looks bad. So, I, if you don't have it, I would invest in a tripod. Last but not least, if you're streaming games, then you might want to invest in a headset if you don't have one. Um, you can start off without one. But that will be something that you'll want to save your pennies for. I'd love to tell you of a cheap headset. Um, and if any of you guys do know of cheap headsets, do me a favor. Leave it in the comments below. As a matter of fact, if there's any hardware that you're thinking I'm missing or you know other ways to, to get or use this type of equipment on the cheap, please do me a favor. Add it to the comments below because I, I think that would really help people who want to get started. Also, um, if you like, when you're putting that stuff in the comments below, if you like the video, do me a favor. Give me that check, that little thumbs up, that like. Uh, also, if you want, feel free to subscribe to my videos. If you don't want, feel free to subscribe to my videos because I like when you subscribe to my videos. Um, I hope you found this episode of 5 Minutes with Franza useful. 
look for the second part. We'll talk about the software, all of it free. And um, again, thank you for watching. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. All right, ready, Oreo? Catch.